Bats scare a lot of people, but they are important to U.S. agriculture. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service is working with local groups to protect bat habitats, like the area around Bracken Cave near San Antonio, Texas. This is Bracken Cave, and it's home to the largest population of bats remain on our entire planet. It's one of dozens of key sites that we have protected in close cooperation with the Natural Resources Conservation Service. Bats help farmers by pollinating crops and devouring huge numbers of insects. This is a Mexican free-tailed bat, and tonight this one bat is capable of catching up to 40 or more corn earworm or armyworm moths over surrounding croplands. Each one of those moths could be carrying as much as a thousand eggs. Many organic farmers are now relying heavily on bats in integrated pest management. They build houses for up to 2,000 bats at a time in their orchards, and several have actually ceased using pesticides as a result of having successfully attracted bats. NRCS is working with landowners to maintain bat habitat and sources of food and water. Private landowners can help by maintaining clean, open sources of water where bats can drink, can maintain hedgerows and forest edges where bats can travel to and from feeding areas without being caught by owls, and can help protect roost sites, everything from old snags to mines and caves. And NRCS has worked with groups to inform farmers on bat habitats. When our district conservationist makes recommendations to landowners, they need to be healed with the best information that we can provide. For the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.